chapter 9 applications of integration example 9.14 the question is evaluate integral 0 to 1.5 greatest integer function x square dx where this function represents greatest integer function solution the symbol greatest integer function is is the greatest greatest integer function which takes which takes the value less than or the symbol is the greatest integer function which takes the less than or which takes the value less than or equal to x less than or equal to x in other words we define this greatest integer function is equal to just n where n less than or equal to x less than n plus 1. This is the greatest integer function or largest integer function which takes the value less than or equal to x which takes the value less than or equal to x. In other words we define by this greatest integer function is equal to n that is n less than or equal to less, less than or equal to x less than n plus 1. So in our question the function f of x is equal to is equal to greatest integer function x square. So now define so also our limit is over 0 to 1.5. Now define the greatest integer function x square is equal to. So also we draw the graph. We draw the graph. <coughs> we draw the graph. As the x axis. This has so y axis. This is x. So y axis. Now the given limit 0 to 1.5 can split into can split into three subintervals. 0 to 1.5 can split into 3 subintervals that is here the origin is take 0 and is a 1 in between 1.5 in between 1.5 we take 1 root 2 this root 2 value is nothing it is 1.414 therefore this root 2 lie before 1.5 so 0 to 1 as a 1 sub interval 1 to root 2 is other sub interval the last sub interval is root 2 to 1.5 by the greatest integer function the graph is so in the interval 0 to 1 our greatest integer function x takes the value 0 so by that definition so greatest integer function x is equal to n n less than or equal to x less than n plus 1 here here form on table also for our reference this is x 0 less than or equal to x less than 1 1 less than or equal to x less than root 2 and root 2 less than or equal to x less than 1.5 
so by that definition our x takes 0 but here modulus x square greatest integer function x square 0 square is 0 so for the interval 0 to 1 0 to 1 our function this greatest integer function x square takes 0 here 0 here also 0 so all are 0 therefore this 0 included this 0 included and the graph is moving but the 1 doesn't take 0 1 doesn't take 0 therefore draw like this then for the interval 1 to root 2 1 to root 2 by the definition our greatest integer function x takes 1 therefore 1 square is also 1 so here y axis is 1 and 2 here 2 so 1 to 2 1 to root 2 takes 1 here 1 1 1 1 1 1 but this root 2 doesn't takes 1 therefore our graph is like here 1 is included here 1 is included the graph is moving but this root 2 this root 2 doesn't takes 1 therefore draw like this so in between the interval root 2 to 1.5 where the greatest integer function x takes root 2 but here greatest integer function x square root 2 square is a 2 therefore for the interval root 2 to 1.5 the value is 2 2 2 2 2 but 1.5 doesn't takes 2 therefore our graph is moving like here 2 is included but here not included the graph is like this way the graph is like this way therefore our greatest integer function yes x square is defined by 0 if 0 if 0 less not is equal to x less than 1 and this greatest integer function x square takes 1 if 1 less not is equal to x less than root 2 and the last value is takes 2 this is for the condition root 2 less not is equal to x less than or equal to 1.5 here we write less than or equal to 1.5 because our interval is our interval is 0 to 1.5 so here also put less than or equal to but by the definition of greatest integer function here the lower limit only uh, only as the answer here x square therefore root 2 square is a 2 the graph shows that the graph shows that the function f of x the function f of x this graph shows that there is clearly 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 the function f of x is equal to greatest integer function x square is not continuous is not continuous on the interval 0 to 2 1.5 0 to 2 1.5 the graph is is not continuous so here 0 to 1 here break and 1 to root 2 here break and 2 to 1.5 the, therefore the graph is not continuous on the interval 0 to 1.5 but it is continuous in each of us intervals but but our f of x is continuous on each sub intervals 
each sub intervals 0 to 1 1 as a open interval and 1 to root 2 root is the open the last is a root 2 to 1.5 so it's so closed therefore it is a piecewise continuous therefore our f of x is piecewise continuous piecewise continuous on 0 to 1.5 so closed interval therefore our inter integral i can split into three integrals therefore our integral i is equal to integral 0 to 1.5 x square dx this is split into three integrals that is integral over 0 to 1 the greatest integer function x square dx plus 1 to root 2 uh, greatest integer function x square dx plus root 2 to 1.5 greatest integer function x square dx here for the interval 0 to 1 our x square takes 0 and for the interval 1 to root 2 our f of x takes 1 for the interval root 2 to 1.5 our f of x that is the greatest integer function x square takes 2 so substitute everything here so 0 to 1 it is a 0 0 dx plus 1 to root 2 the value is 1 dx plus root 2 to 1.5 the value is 2 dx the first term is surely 0 then integral of a second term is x 1 to root 2 plus the integral of a third term is also x so limit is over root 2 to 1.5 now apply the upper limit minus lower limit plus 2 times apply the upper limit 1.5 minus root 2 this is equal to root 2 minus 1 plus just inside multiplication we get 2 into 1.5 as a 3 minus 2 root 2 now simplify the like terms and for these two terms we get 2 it's a plus root 2 minus 2 root 2 subtract it and put the uh, greatest greatest number sign so minus root 2 therefore our answer is 2 minus root 2 answer is 2 minus root 2 this is the answer for 2 minus root 2 is the answer for the question 0 to 1.5 greatest integer function x square dx therefore example 9.14 over thank you